we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. And you can see the select color range, it, it did a pretty good job. But this isn't perfect, right? We can do better than that. So what we're going to do again, I'm going to hold down the Shift key because we're going to disable this layer mask. Again, we want to disable the layer mask. So that's going to get us a good starting point to work with. Because if I'm starting from this, this is already kind of a little bit of a messy layer mask. So we're going to shift click on this again. And then we're going to go through the same process again. OK, so let's go through our channels. I'm going to go to my green channel, because I already know that this is going to be a good channel. There's going to be a good difference between light and dark here. So we're going to create another duplicate of my green channel. Now we're going to do the same thing. Command L will bring up our levels. And I can choose my white point to be right over here. All right. So this time, anything that's white is going to be 100% selected. Anything that's darker than white is not going to be selected. So I'm selecting out the backdrop here. So let's go ahead and hit OK. This area is white, right? And you can see the really nice fine detail we have here in the hair. Hold down Control or Command and click. That's going to select out the light areas. And in this case, we want these to be invisible, right? The light area is invisible. So let's click on our layer. And then just, again, we're going to go back to our layer mask that we had earlier. And I'm going to choose my brush tool. And we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint with black. Let's hit Command H to hide that selection real quick. Paint with black. And it's just going to clean up my selection, including all the fine little details and the hair. All right. And if it takes away too much, let's just zoom in so you can see. We do get a lot of fine details. But if it takes away too much, now I want to paint some of the hair back in. I just inverse my selection. And then I paint with white on my lay mask. Does that make sense? OK, so let's tr give it a shot. Shift Command I is going to inverse my selection. Let's hide that selection again. And I'm going to paint with white on my layer mask now. And look at that perfect selection of hair. Tiny, tiny strands of hair that you can see through and the lightning in the background. That's amazing. Chat rooms are blown away. <laughs> That's amazing. They're blowing up. Blowing up. Now, the same issue we had earlier was we still have that green tint. But look at that layer mask. That's just awesome. So a little bit of the same issue we had earlier. But again, not a huge deal, right? Because we have this hue saturation adjustment layer that took that green and changed it to blue. So we just paint that white here on this area. And we can fix that. Or we can give this its own custom color. So we can do that too. Let's create a new layer. And this can be done on a per, um, per image basis. Paint with black or whatever color I'm sampling from my actual. There we go. Change this down from normal to color. So I can sample this color right here, paint it in, and now I'm removing my green color cast. Simple as that. How awesome was that? 